Hi. Hi, Floss Tube. Today's October 27th, 2019, and we were back for another episode of no. fun. Number five. Ooh, number five. Yeah. Oh, oh my okay. gosh. This is fun. We're I having know, we lots are of having fun. fun. You know, it's it's incredible. You yes. guys leave the best comments, and it's very exciting and fun, and yes. we love it. We could talk about this all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could be here 24-7, except mm -hmm. we, you know, have uh, to work. Yeah. yeah. Pay for all our And fun, sleep. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and eat and mm -hmm. nap. Mm -hmm. And stitch. There we go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. All right. So we're going to answer a couple questions first. We had some wonderful comments last time, and they were talking, um, people wanted to talk about fabric and some recommendations for small samplers, linen, and magnification. So first thing, magnification is if a you must. need it use it don't think oh i don't need it and struggle so on and so forth if you need it on 10 count then use it Doesn't i need it on any count yeah really i mean i wear my uh store bought from walgreens glasses like 1.5 magnification and then i have my magnifying lit lamp that i have to have otherwise i can't stitch at all and that's your the Brighton, it's by Daylight, mm -hmm. and it's called a Brighton. It has a gooseneck lamp. Mm -hmm. I got it from the attic. Mm -hmm. And it's well worth the money um, if you need it, and it will make your stitching easier. I highly recommend it. It's got probably about a four-inch magnification mm -hmm. lens. It does not have a rim around the bottom part of it, and the and light lights up. is mm -hmm. really good. In the gooseneck, you can maneuver it any which way yeah. so I have one upstairs and down here I have a bigger one it's by daylight and it's on casters and everything okay. and I love it down here it's a mm -hmm. it was an investment but mm -hmm. it is well worth it and if you stitch for any amount of time please invest in one that you yeah. that you can do and so. I also have and I think you do too an at light just a regular light yep. so I have my living room light on my at light on and my magnifying light, and it, and I think I said this before, it looks like I'm doing surgery on my corner of the couch while Mike's over there watching TV. In the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. You need to make it, you don't worry about what the effects are around you. It's what you can see, you know, you're not going for the, uh, what is it, house beautiful look. Right, what have you. right. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not that. Right. But what we produce is house beautiful quality, yes, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you buy the best materials you can. Yeah. So, anyhow, then someone asked about linen. I didn't pull any linen out, I and it's really hard because some people like 30 count, some people like 32, 36, 40, 46, and then there's some people that like 52, 60. I mean. Who is that? I know. Who is that nut? Yeah, Jean. Jean. <laughs> but her work is exquisite. Oh my goodness. And when you go there, she's like, you can do this. You can do it. And you believe it yourself. You can do it. And I've tried. Um, but for me, I get with the depth perception, I'm not able to do it. So do what you feel comfortable with. Go to a local shop if you can and test out the linen. Buy small pieces. Right. Uh, whatever you think. I mean, my favorites might not be your favorites. Right, and some um, people like things that are more drapey, mm -hmm. and some people like more stiff fabric. Yep. And so, yeah, you need to try stuff out. And if you don't have a local needlework store, I think you can order from any store Correct. some samples or, you know, little pie littler pieces. Right. Or I suggest that... <laughs> this is the best one. Yeah. <laughs> Say you live in... I don't know where. Montana. Montana. If you live in Montana, you get a plane ticket and you go to the attic. Okay? If you live in, ooh, let's see. Maine. Maine, you get a plane ticket and you go to Dying to Stitch. If you live around us, you go to Inspired Needle. Yep. Those are my three shops. Or you could also go to Country Sampler. But you get a plane ticket, you go to a shop, and you check out the linen. Correct. That's and it. And you can go to Sassy Jacks. They have yeah. a tremendous mm -hmm. selection of linen from what I hear, and I've mm -hmm. ordered from them before. So, Or call the shops. Call any one of those shops, yeah, they'll and they'll be you. happy to help you mm -hmm. and find something that's going to work for you. Yeah, so, you might have to try a lot of things, which... We both have tried a lot of things, Correct. and we found what we like now. Yep, yep. And it's it varies. I'm right now loving the Weeks Dye Works Zweigart based uh, fabric. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love the R and R fabrics. 
beautiful. I love Lakeside. Mm -hmm. And I like the picture of this plus. Um, I like their the colors and I like stitching with it. Um, but that's me. That doesn't mean that everyone else is Right, and there's like some it. I would mm -hmm. still like to try. I'd like to try x Design. I would mm -hmm. like to try Hand Dyed by Stephanie. I just haven't come across any, but when I do, I'm going to try it. Right. And the new Legacy, I think that oh, yeah. if you're concerned about going from like an even weave and you don't want to go to a straight to a linen, I think the Legacy doesn't have all those slubs and um, different variations on the yeah, threads. Yeah, it's more clear there. cut yes. where the... X, the holes are correct and those fabrics are out of Italy I believe they're uh, reproduced through Axis commodities and it's a it's not a modeled fabric it's just like a regular dyed linen mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have that modeling that over dyed look if you will so mm -hmm. so then someone asked about silk wow mm -hmm. Carolyn I'll put my tiara on <laughs> here we go um, there's so many choices and again you need to pick out what's best for you if you can do it and if you can't do silk then fine dmc over dyed threads whatever but if you can treat yourself pick out a sampler yeah, that maybe you love. one a year you yeah doing silk exactly and i'll tell give you my these are my opinions and what i think are they your honest opinions yes all right i'm good. not gonna hold back okay <laughs> <laughs> right. my very 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 favorites and i didn't pick out some pretty colors but are the needlepoint ink silks they come like this um and there's they're a seven strand or six i can't remember and it doesn't say they're not an over dyed um silk they're a straight saturation color very they would match up with dmc colors pretty well i love them why do you love them so much they glide through the fabric mm -hmm. um i use them when i'm doing one strand so i don't use two strands I just love the colors, the there's, way they go through the fabric. Sorry, there's never really a situation where you would use two strands of silk. I did years ago oh, with did? something, and okay. I'll tell you in a minute. All yeah. right. But it worked. I've done a lot of samplers with NPIs, and these are my absolute favorite. And another tip that I use with any thread is I do not make it longer than 18 inches. Um, I think if you use a yard piece and you're nuts the, yeah <laughs> when you get to the end it's fuzzy mm -hmm. and you do not have the same look on your stitches than when you use a shorter piece and yes I hate threading my fabric you know my threads and doing all that but overall that's my opinion yeah just my opinion. I agree so anyhow. and I do not go down to the nubs. Oh, can we talk about that? That should be a law. Oh my gosh. Our Please friend people. Pat goes down to this much thread left. It's a game to her. She's it's so insane. funny. And she thinks she, she loves thinks, it. To I tell know. Us she that. loves to like throw me her little nubbin. Yeah. Look what I did. And I'm like, if it gets down to that, I'm oh, done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Please. I don't. I don't it. have time in my no. life for that. No, kind of no, no, no. Fault not at all. all. That mm -mm. should be a law. We'll so, think about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll take that up with the committee. <laughs> okay, and next are um, these are a whole plethora dinky dyes, which is an over dyed thread. The colors are beautiful. These are some of the colors here. Mm. This is for a project. Um, this is the way the attic will send them to you like this. I mean, mm -hmm. not in these bags. I started the project and didn't finish it. <laughs> shocking. I know, shocking, isn't it? But this mm -hmm. is, they put them on a little ring and send them to me like this. So Dinky Dyes is an over-dyed silk. I don't know how many strands are in here. Six or eight, maybe. Enough. Yeah. And then the Crescent, or Classic Color Works used to be Bell Swath. They come like this. This is a wonderful over dyed silk. Great yeah, value. Um, Dinky dyes are another, that's a good value too. These are beautiful silks. I mean, so this and all over dyed. Sorry. This conversion that the attic did, they will mix brands. It doesn't matter. It's the color. Correct. They're going They're for all the color. silks and yep. it'll yep. all work together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. That's cool. And then here is. Are you loving this? You want to jump in there, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are Glorianas. Yes. These are Glorianas. Again, over-dyed. 
I mean, look at that over dyed. Wow. You could do a monochromatic sampler using that mm -hmm. and get a total cool. effect on yeah. what a color is that. Bell Bellagio. Love it. And I, these, again, are beautiful. This is a 12-strand silk. Six yards of it. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. Beautiful. Then there are... These are Swadage. Uh, this is like NPI. It's not an over dyed. It's a true color. These are a little bit, in my opinion, thicker than uh, needlepoint silks. It's a little bit better coverage. Hmm. The colors, I'm using these for Mary Good and love them. The colors are beautiful. You have to be careful though with using short strands because oh. it will fuzz. This okay. will fuzz more in the needle Shorter point, so. than from here to here, do you think? Or is that good? I would use from there to there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. So some people say use 10 and 12 inch. Oh, I don't do that. I think that's a little too short. But anyhow, mm -hmm. that's Swadage. And then we have um, these are Swa 103s. They come on a spool like this. And these you would use on like 40, 46 count, and you just use them as they pull off the spool. Um, they're not over dyed, they're true colors. Um, I used these years ago. These are for a sampler, a uh, hands across the sea sampler. I don't know which one. And I used them years ago, and a just, just Nan had. Um, called for these, hmm. and I used two strands. Um, oh, okay. thirty-two. Uh huh. And this and is, that worked out okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are almost like cotton the way they come off, but the sheen is really nice. And there's a lot of silk on here, a yeah. ton of it. So these are, they don't have as many colors. So doing a conversion to these would be kind of hard, um, but it's fun. And they're fun to have on this little cool thing. Mm. Or as Nicola has them in a sulky oh, thread yeah, case. Cool. I mean, mm -hmm. that's cool too. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. And then last are these Tudor silks. Uh, whoops. Yeah. These were for a project. I think I got these to use on a 46 count fabric. And um, I obviously haven't used them. But this is the way they come. They're little, they're stranded like this. Because they're so fine. Mm -hmm. And they're used on higher counts. Like yep. 40 would be the I don't even think point. you would do it. On oh, 40. really? Mm -mm. Oh. I would use like 46 because okay. they're really thin. Um, this is what Jean uses for when she's doing 5260. She uses these a lot. And um, she has a little trick for putting them on thread drops. And Laura's going to show she you does. later about pulling out the thread, off the thread drop. But this is the way they send them to you. And this is the way they're packaged, like that. I mean, is that cool? Sorry for the glare. But look at the colors. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Those are cool. So, mm -hmm. anyway, so that's your little lesson on <laughs> silk threads. A tutorial. So, a little tutorial. So mm -hmm. something to think about. Pick a project, maybe for a birthday or Christmas gift. Or do a red mm -hmm. sampler. Yeah. And just get... You know, go pick out a Gloriana or mm -hmm. a Belle Soir. Right, Classic absolutely. Classic color works red. And yeah, absolutely. Try out, you don't need to pick a sampler that's got 25 colors. Yeah. Pick one that's got five or six and try it. Mm -hmm. So I think you have one in your pile here of small samplers mm -hmm. that calls for Gloriana. Mm -hmm. But there's only six or colors, I think. So that mm -hmm. one, yeah. Yeah, Vicki asked about starting a sampler and maybe instead of doing some big one, do a smaller one. So I pulled a few charts that I had that I think would be small, smaller samplers. This one does call for six Glorianas, mm -hmm. and that it, would be good. Yeah. It's not a big investment, and mm -hmm. you can see if you like them. And there's some, I mean, schoolhouse red. Yeah, that's your fave. Yeah. I think I'm going to get the silks for this when we go to the attic. Yeah. Okay, so Scarlet House. So this is our small sampler recommendation portion of the program. This one I think is gorgeous. Oh yeah. That's by Scattered beautiful. Seeds. Beautiful. 
And this one calls for over dyed uh, threads or it's got a DMC conversion. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know Teresa, our friend yeah. Teresa did this. You did too. No, I didn't. What? I Shocking. Did, Shocking. And Teresa did hers on over, over one. one. Mm, I bet it's yeah. gorgeous. But Carol, um, salt box stitcher, she did hers over two on a light colored fabric, mm. and she did a conversion to silk from the mm. attic. Oh, so, cool! And it looks gorgeous. The, I mean, this is small. There's a lot of stitching in it, though. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it would be just so beautiful to yeah do yeah, that one. Beautiful. And then we have oh, let's see, uh, Pineberry Lane has oh, a ton yeah. of small samplers. You showed some. Yeah, um, I showed some red work ones. Yes, when those we did are that. beautiful. To but start this is out. look how mm -hmm. sweet that yes. is. I love that teapot. Yeah. And Chessie and me, I thought this one, our, our friend Pam stitched this. Is that upside down? Yeah, I was going to say, is that upside down? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to flip it around. When people do that, I'm like, don't you immediately see that it's upside down? But I no, know. you don't. No, because we're seeing everything backwards. Yeah. So this one, I just, and this would be good for the year of Quakers, 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to do that one. And I think, one. is this in silk too? No. Just weeks, weeks over that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Weeks. And then oh, this I one, know. I think a lot of us either started, finished, <laughs> and framed, but a long time ago when this first yeah. came out. In fact, I found mine with, I don't know what, what count this is. It's... And I was thinking I wanted to start it over on a smaller no, count, but Brenda no. said, suck it up yeah, and finish this. Yeah, suck it this. up and finish it. You're too far. I mean, yeah. you're down to the fun stuff, yeah. and it won't take very long to finish it up. Yeah. And I think it looks beautiful with the Oh, yeah, it looks, yes. it, yeah, it's beautiful no matter the size, but mm -hmm. that's another good small one. Yeah. Love so, it. Vicki, hopefully you found something in there that you like. One more thing, back to the magnifiers. It's, mm. if you use one... Please make sure that you cover it up. Whether you use, um, Laura has a really cool idea with a drawstring bag. She has book bags, mm -hmm. and you put it over there and pull the drawstring to cover it up. Mm -hmm. um, mine down here came with a uh, plate kind of thing that you snap on oh, and cover nice. it up. But you need to make sure yeah, so that, that you, the sun doesn't come in and start a fire. Yeah. And it had happened to a uh, fellow stitcher that we know. And her house was destroyed um, because of it. So it's not anything to be taken lightly. Please, please, please cover them up. So You know what mm -hmm. that little speech is going to lead to? What? Mike Duet. <laughs> Safety man at our house is going to confiscate my magnifying lens. Well, you need to make sure you use what you... Yeah. What you gave everyone. Right. So Okay, yes. we'll do. Yes. We'll so do. That's your safety message, your mm -hmm. PSA for today. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> anyhow. What have we been working on? Oh, what have we been working on? Well, I've been working some more on Mary Miller, which is the Stitch Along from Country Sampler. And if you joined this and got your kit, please join our Facebook group if you're on Facebook. It's Mary Miller 1842 Country Sampler Stitch Along um, to post your progress and see what everyone else is up to. If you're not on Facebook, just hashtag on Instagram if you're there, Mary Miller 1842 S A L. And you could wear it too. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. You're so, really cruising along. Yeah. I was cruising along and then I serial started a couple of things this week. What? So. I know. No. Yes. We'll get to that in a moment. But I love that. Yeah. This looks really beautiful thus far. Thus far. So, serial starting. What happened? Well, yeah, let's see. Miss Heidi starting. Cran, stitching one over two, mentioned. A sampler and then she mentioned that it was in one of her old sampler and antique needlework quarterly magazines and yeah. so I ran upstairs and I had that issue and immediate and stat. Immediate, yes stat I so I had to go get the it calls for DMC it's Anna Thiel oh, yeah. 18 this is something totally you with the 1859 yeah and yeah. here's the good news though if you don't have this issue you can get this chart it's by Perman of Copenhagen I know Kitten Stitcher has it on her site, um, oh, and probably okay. a lot of places could order it, mm -hmm. so you could still get this. So I was out with my mom last week. We went to Joanne's, and I got the DMC. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh. Can we say yum? Mm hmm. Oh, yes. So I started it on. Uh, what is that? This is oh, 40. 40 parchment. Parchment weeks Swigart based. Beautiful. The colors really look good on that. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a little darker in real life than what it's showing on the camera, but mm -hmm. beautiful. And I made my third beautiful. drops from some crafts paper so Very I think nice. I'm pretty cool yeah you are <laughs> I love those thread drops yeah so. oh I uh, I'll yes I'll keep going but I wanted to mention something uh, I learned this from two of my stitching gurus Pat Ryan and Pam Horner both told me this separately so what you do is you take your any thread probably a cotton you should only do this with and you know, cut it and put it on your card like this. And then to take one strand off at a time, instead of taking this whole thing off and then getting one strand out, you just, let's see if I can do this. Can I hold? Yeah, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take okay. it off so I yeah. don't have all that weight. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you do this. And of course, I usually have my glasses on and I don't and you right have now. your lights. Yeah. <laughs> your runway lights. But you pull one out of here can you hear the clock ticking now? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I can. You it's pull one. Yeah. And you just go like this. And voila. There's your one. It's so much fun. Oh, I mean, yeah. every time I start a new thread, I just get a charge out of doing that. <laughs> it's little things in life, yes. people. Yeah. But isn't that fun? Just yeah. It saves time, too, yeah. because you don't have to take it all off. Right. You don't take it off of here anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just when, originally, when you get the thread, you, like, if it's uh, gentle arch, you just cut it in yep. half, put it on here, and then just go to town with taking right. one thread off at a time. Right. So I wanted to say that, and thanks, Pat, and thanks, Pam, for telling us that. Yeah, that's a good tip, yeah. a really good tip. And when you back cutting your threads in half with the gentle arts, they come in mm -hmm. one yard cut. So when you cut them in half, they're automatically 18 inches. So you right. that's what your thread should be. Right. With in the DMC, my opinion. It, with the DMC, opinion. I just went like, yeah and that's kind of fun when you're yes. watching TV yeah then the other thing I serial started was this yes. which I've had for years and loved for years yes they're classics any prairie schooler is just a classic yeah what's up what year 95 Nine. uh-huh so I started it yesterday and I would have gotten farther but certain people wanted to go to the grocery store well you need to eat <laughs> yeah well <laughs> anyway so I love her I, yeah, my friend Jenny good. Wright in Nova Scotia, I know she stitched this. Oh, and, and then, she probably has a finished and displayed darling, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, she does. So cute, cute. very and cute. And you, you made a got a lot of the um, little bit of color work done. Yeah. So now you just have the bird, right? Which should cruise along. Yeah, we'll see what happens this yeah. afternoon. Yeah, yeah. You can watch football and uh, radio. What did you work on this week? Okay, so this week I worked on this, which I love. Mm -hmm. However, I didn't love her colors. You know, I Shockingly. love Brenda. I love Brenda's, but I'm more of a traditionalist with the colors. These were the called for colors. So Pat Ryan finished hers, and <laughs> I took it upon myself to copy her. And I am using some mm. Victorian model oh. threads, but more traditional. That's and this gorgeous. is where I got yesterday. Yesterday it was raining and yucky mm. here and football was on and it was just great to cruise along on this one. So it's beautiful. I'm just loving it. And I'm not going to finish it in the box. Um, I have a different idea. Mm -hmm. And I know joy can make my dreams come true. <laughs> so um, I'll let Stay tuned for the finish of that. Right. So, do you know what fabric that is you're stitching? Um, on? whatever Pat did. Oh, it's an R&R um, &R then. It's an R&R. &R. I, I love I, it. I think it's so French vanilla. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's French love vanilla. It. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Because Pat finished hers and I loved it, so had to do that. Then I've made some progress. I'm very good. We're cruising down here to the grass. Um. Need to. I worked on the border last week over here, so I need to finish up the border down the side and then do the bottom. Not a lot left, but 
the border does take some time, mm -hmm. but it's anyhow, gorgeous. anxious to get that done. And this is the chart. Very good. Sassafras samplers only available through Sassy Jacks. And this is stitched with a Suarege. So, anyhow, so that's what I've been working on. So, I have lots of other things I want to start <laughs> right away. <laughs> and it changes daily. Mm -hmm. talk about that. Depends on what you see on Instagram or yes. Floss too. Yes. And somebody just stitched this and finished it. And I love it. I had to pull the book out. I love the idea of a little drawstring bag to put some buttons in. Oh. I just think that's cool. And someone else finished this, this little box you get at mm -hmm. Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, we're back to the law. But you have to have a black, yeah. get the blackboard books. Every book. Yeah, because you never know. You're going to see this and you're going to say, I need it. And it's mm -hmm. not available. And then here's the main one on the back. Beautiful. Look at that frame. God. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. So that's on my radar this week. Immediate radar? Hashtag immediate radar? Yeah, hashtag immediate radar. I need to finish my other, that other one first. So. Okay. Yeah. What can I say? Um, I did get some stash. Oh, um, yeah. In fact, I will show you the charts. I already threw the silk over there in my chair, but these arrived from mm. the attic. New releases yes. from Hands Across the Sea. Can we say ultimate gorgeous with those colors yeah i'm obsessed kind of obsessed with this yeah. one i thought you got it i did i i mean i ordered it i just oh, haven't okay. gotten it because oh, we're okay. going there and okay. i thought i'd pick it up then well i couldn't wait mm -hmm. <laughs> there's that one too mm -hmm. and i stitch i ordered it from the attic these are their samplers of the month so i got the discount mm -hmm. so i saved money mm -hmm. um because when you order the, either the chart and the fabric and the thread you receive order two of the three then you get a discount 15% so, which is a nice discount and I got the silks the Suarage silks for it I did not get the fabric I have mm. enough of my own mm -hmm. to choose so. I feel a call coming on <laughs> speed dial choo 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 yeah okay Jean expect a call on <laughs> Tuesday huh? that's right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well. have your staff standing by yes Exactly. <laughs> well, we might, maybe I'll, yeah, I have to see what fabric I yeah, want to use. You might so, want to change anyhow. it. We have an announcement. Yes. This is exciting. This is a, really exciting. We, uh, Heidi Cran, who's in Canada, stitching one over two, uh, texted us and said, hey, do you guys want to do like a cross channel s s sampler stitch along? And then we, uh, we also got Suzette from the Primitive Stitcher involved. And then we kind of, you know, sent some ideas back and forth to find one that all of us were excited to start mm -hmm. on January 1st. Um, so, you know, because you, you have to be thrilled to participate. And we hope oh, yeah. some other of you guys will Absolutely. want to. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is a big year, 2020. I know. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. Okay. 2020? Yeah, this Doesn't is wild. Cool? It's pretty wild. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you were kicking around in 1978. Yeah. Anyway. The year I was born. Yeah. Not. Um, <laughs> so we settled on Isabella Fox by GGR because I know we've had this in our stash yes. for a long time and have been obsessed with it. Yes. Carol Saltbox Stitcher was stitching it uh, in at Virginia Beach last year. Yes. And that hepped us up even more. Yeah. And she just got hers back. Or she was just going to send it out for framing, oh. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start this on January 1st, 2020, which is a, another auspicious day yes. besides being New Year's Day. Certain people were born that day. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's not why we're doing this at all, but that just happened to happen. Um, so, I have had the chart, and I have the cottons. And aren't those beautiful? Mm -hmm. I've had, th this is the Addicts Silk mm. Conversion. Hmm. Um, just yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Just beautiful. Just yeah. beautiful. Where's the... Yeah. And yeah, here's the red in here. So what red say, is it? that red? Mine is Buckeye Scarlet. Um, tulip. Oh, I like tulip. Let's yeah. put them up and see how they look together. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Yep. 
And mine was, I got this all kitted from the attic, and mine is on vintage sand dune. Oh. 46 counts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the color. I do, um, yeah. You can't go wrong. Um, What's it called for? I don't know. Let's, Let's see. see. Oh, crumb. Crumb? No, I got oh. it all backwards oh, okay. here. Because I was going to start this and had it all pulled out. And Weeks. It's cocoa from Weeks Dye Works. Do you think so. cocoa is a lot like sand dune, or is it very different? Semi-different. Isn't cocoa think, more brown? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. Totally right. You know, a good thing to do, uh, I know most of you know this, but is to take your threads mm -hmm. and then just, like, put them against different fabrics and see mm -hmm. what you like the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another tip that Pat Ryan told us about when you're doing that is pull one strand mm, of thread very important from yeah. your skein and mm -hmm. lay it on your fabric right, that's and true. you can see what it's going to look like because when you put the whole skein yeah. on your fabric it's going to look way different when you use one strand so you yeah. might that's a good if point. it gets you know if you're looking at a cream color on a cream fabric that's where if you that's where you would have an issue if you're having red on a cream who cares but anything <laughs> that's going to be close where you mm -hmm. think it might get washed out mm -hmm. that was just a tip she gave one that time. was a good one she's yeah. got good tips she yeah, has she a does. plethora of <laughs> information she knows what yes. she's talking about yes she does so mm -hmm. um oh so then else? along with the so Heidi we talked and all right we picked that sampler and then I watched her latest episode and she was talking about pin cushions and then choom I went I've been going choom about pin cushions for a long time I don't know how to sew but uh, that hasn't stopped you no I but I but I want pin cushions you know I want a whole bunch of them because you know we go and we find fabric and like last time when we were in Chipshawana I bought all these those are charm really packs nice. because I wanted to make pin cushions right don't. Isn't that what she said to you that she was using little charm packs? I don't on know. Hers? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I remember that last year for Christmas I got my mom this book, Pin Pals, which has a bunch of really cool pin cushions. Because I said, Mom, let's you you know how to sew. You have a sewing machine. Let's learn. Of course, we haven't spent time doing it yet. So then I had to order the book for myself last week so I can pour over it. And I do have one pin cushion. It's not made by me. It's made by my friend Teresa, which I, and Brenda has one too. Yeah, I, I treasure this yeah. so much. I mean, it is. This sits so next to my stitching chair. Yeah, yeah, it's so beautiful. And these yeah. colors are just me, me, me. Yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. These are me. Yeah. So I want to learn how to make pin cushions. These are cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten, I haven't ordered my book yet. Yeah, you But I love that. Yeah. I love it when you, someone gets excited about something mm -hmm. and just watching them mm -hmm. and that contagious feeling. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. I had this really great idea. I don't know if it's going to come to fruition yet, but I'm going to my dad's for Thanksgiving. And he lives on Bainbridge Island in Washington, which is heaven. And there's a shop there called Esther's Fabrics, and I'm going to call them this week and say, can I please come on one day, because I'll be relaxed and low-key, yeah. and can you just teach me how to use a sewing machine, basically, you know, just to sew straight lines. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully that'll happen. Stay tuned. Stay huh? tuned, yeah. yeah. Well, you don't have to do anything fancy. No, you know, I don't think so. Just use something simple, and right. then go from there, see right. how you like it. I even so. just like simple ones, yeah. so. Yeah, and they have a whole bowl of them, or... Yeah. Tiered tray. Yeah. You well, said a tiered tray would be good. That yeah. would be good. Yeah. Anything to display them on. That's yeah. A cool so idea. that's, so. I want pin cushions. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love collections of stuff. Mm -hmm. So totally. Yeah. Totally. Last week I was, um, my husband and I went to a little antique store in Michigan City and I got a few uh, sewing things because I like to collect sewing stuff so I got this little I've never found one in an antique store and this is five bucks that I mean cool. this is a great deal mm -hmm. and it came just like that look at this old I was gonna take this off because I thought eh, but I love it yeah somebody cool. put it there for a reason mm -hmm. and I just love it came like that I found this pair of old German scissors this is cool to yeah have. you're not gonna you're use not gonna, them no. but you know if yeah. you want to stage a photo or and have yeah. them sitting around. They're cool. 
Then I found, not the box, but I found these buttons. These are Civil War buttons. These are underwear buttons. Are those not cool? I mean, I love white mm -hmm. or cream colored buttons. Mm -hmm. And then in this, I just threw them in here for now. Yeah, so. they look cute in there. Yeah, look at them. Tied like that. Oh, that's cute. We could tie them with little cute silk ribbon or oh. silk thread. Yeah. That's like cool. all red silk thread and just tie a bunch together. Oh, yeah. yeah you could spend a day doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Someday when I'm retired. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, here's yeah. another one. Anyways, it was just fun. It's fun to go to a shop and just see what you can find. Some days are total busts. Mm -hmm. And some days um, you come away with a few things. So yeah. it was fun. Last That's week cool. it was a perfect day to do it. So that was it. Very nice. Okay. So I had this idea that um, on different occasions we can each pick. We'll, we'll pick a designer and then we'll each pick ten of our favorite charts from them or finishes that we have in our stash. And which is fun because I love like top 10 lists and you know, your top 10 favorites of this, that, and the other. So last weekend, when we were at home, and everybody we know, well, most everybody we know, was at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat in Amana, Iowa, with with a needle and thread Brenda Gervais, and seeing all that stuff. Ooh, why? I first of all, yeah. You, why? First of all, why weren't you there? Because, yeah. and then why wasn't I there? But yeah. mainly you. But um, I mean, the pictures were amazing. Yeah. We were happy for all the people yes. that were there. But we yes. wished we were there too. Yes, it looked amazing. And thank you for everyone for sharing your pictures and your videos because we felt like we were there and mm -hmm. so excited. For you, yeah, and, and all we those can't new, wait till the stuff comes. Out. I know those new releases, which <laughs> are, are 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 great, and then that sampler that they got. I know, hooba dooba, and then the exchanges. <gasps> I thought it was so Ooh, yeah. neat that they did. Yeah, well, all everybody Brenda. do Brenda yes. stuff. That was good. Yes. That was so much fun, yes. and people like it wasn't just little. No, I mean it was like major works. Oh, work. absolutely, that was it really was cool. Very very neat. Very so neat. for our first time, uh, we picked Brenda picked with I needle and thread, and Love we'll it. yeah we'll show you uh, ten, maybe a few more. <laughs> um, Got carried away. Yeah. So. so I'll do one and then you do one. Okay. We haven't really talked about how no. we're going to do this. We're kind of so. surprising each other yeah. a little bit with the charts we picked. There might be some overlap, but that's okay. There was just so it was so fun to go through my charts of Brenda's designs and see what I stitch, what I want to stitch, and things you forget about. Because some, her stuff is just, God, it's so good. She I just know. got a... She's got a yeah. gift. Yes, she does. Yes, okay. she does. So. I wonder if you brought, if you have this. I did. Okay, good. This is my first. I'm not doing them in any particular order. I love this. This is so cute. Uh, when we were at Shipshawana, Katrina was doing this one, and she, I think she finished yeah. it in about a day. Yeah. Because she's like a turbo stitcher. Mm -hmm. So you have it finished. Oh, oh. Is that not cool? And Joy finished it, mm. and there's a, she put some little pins in there. Oh, really? In the tomato. I don't know if you can pick them up, but yeah. Just beautifully done. A double, um... Mm. Rick Rack? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cute. I've never seen that. Yeah. Oh, that's well, she genius. tacked it down in the middle, so it looks oh, like it's... Oh, cool. You know. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. That's my first pick. I need to really... Yeah. I need to kit this up and get going on it. And once she did the, the girl, the little queen... Yeah. It's going to move along fast. That's what Katrina said. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Love that's... that. That's Love my that. first pick. What's your first pick? Well, let's... Ooh, this one is an oldie but goodie, J.M. Gardner. This came out, I don't have the years, folks, so it came out a while ago. Mm -hmm. Stitched it a while ago. And it's beautiful. It's a reproduction sampler of hers. Beautiful. Love that frame. Love it. And here is mine. Mm. Beautiful. Little frames a little different, but the same idea. 
love it. I don't know what fabric it's stitched on. Um, I think it's pretty sure it's 40 count using the call for colors. Uh, just love it. Love, love, love it. Was that your first Barbie? No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. Um, here's another one that I've loved. I've seen it done twice. One by Trisha and one by Mary. And That's Mary did me. it really cool. She, yeah. her daughter married somebody who lives in Czechoslovakia. And so she did it for her in-laws. Mary did it for her daughter's in-laws and put in Czechoslovakia or and some family name or something. Did she yeah, put a name in there? Yeah, something. Okay. She personalized it. But the colors in this are just beautiful. Yeah. This is one of those things I keep saying to myself, why have I not started this? Because yeah. I love yeah. this. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I haven't done that either. Oh, I you love haven't? It. No. Yeah, I love it. No. And I didn't pull that one out. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. We must have been on the same. Way Sampler back. Hill, that yes. one's called. Yeah. Um, next up is Harriet Cull. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. This one came out a while ago. Again. Did you do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did it. It's Ooh, done that's with good. over dies. Mm -hmm. I did not do the eyelets up here. You know what? I never do eyelets. Yeah. I do Smyrna crosses. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. And my, I sh should have done these in order. Mm. And here it is. All oh. framed up. Love this frame. And I love it. Just love the colors. I did this, I'm pretty sure, on 32 count creme brulee. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love that fabric, and I'm pretty yeah, sure that's what it was on. R&R &R so. creme brulee. Uh, and I did Smyrna's for the alphabet. I don't know if you can see that. So, anyhow, that's Harriet. Harriet's cool. You know, uh, people show things on Instagram and floss tube, and they go on and they never know what they've shown, how it affects you. Yeah. Vanna showed this once, and I immediately had to get it. I haven't started it yet, but I, I mean, it's. I don't think I really looked at it until yeah, she showed it. And then I was like, oh, that is adorable. Yeah. Sometimes when you see things mm -hmm. finished, finished. And, and it's funny. I associate. Now, I always associate this with Bono. Oh, okay. <laughs> it didn't, yeah. And then she framed hers, I think, in a really neat mm, frame. I'll have to go I back and look. Yeah. 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 I just love that. Yeah. I should start that like on March 1st or something. There you go. Yeah. Spring delivery. I love that. Um, next up are another old one. I have two finishes from here. This mm. one, but not in the box. And this needle book here. This, again, is another old one. Um, several years old. And the... Hi. Hi. Take two. Part two. Part two. Something happened and we stopped recording. And luckily we noticed it before I got home. Yes. <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> We would have been, had to continue on in a different week. Yeah. So I think we were talking about, if I remember correctly, this one. And I stitched two of them. This, which Faye finished. I just love that. That's gorgeous. With the alphabet and the little buttons. And she put, I think this is antique lace down here. And this is the inside. This was done several years ago. Um, little strawberry there. Just beautifully done. It's gorgeous. And I just fold it up and I keep it with my other little needle books. And this one, let's see. And here's the framed piece. I did not do the chocolate box. I mean, who wants to mess around with all that craft and crap? No. So I had it framed. It's on 36 count, but I did use two strands of this, the white, so it would pop out a little and bit. And it calls for, it tells yeah. people to do that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I love that. I That's love the gorgeous. frame. So. And one more that I did, that I didn't pull the book out, but it's from around the same time as this needle book. Look at that. I mean, That's so cool. Is that cool to do That's that? That's so cool. And then... On the inside there that fell out again. <laughs> the little bluebird, little pin cushion. I love that backing fabric. Yeah. And this is a little pocket. She 
made a little pocket here. I'm putting him in here. Okay. And that's a little um, wool blue strawberry that matches the Birdie. little blue bird. Mm -hmm. so, anyhow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That was fun. That was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Cool. Okay. All right. So... Here's that. an old, look at that Santa. Yeah. He's so sweet. With his little village down here, mm -hmm. and he's overstated. I mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Love it. So I had started it, which is, I obviously started it in the middle, but I don't like this fabric anymore, and I'm going to restart it. So get rid of that. Yeah. Kick it to the curb. I'm kicking it to the curb. Cut it in half, and mm -hmm. you know what? I love that. Yeah. I think I, I'm doing it with I, DMC, too. Oh, that's even better. Mm-hmm. I love that. I don't know if I have that. If I did, I didn't see it in my mm. stash. Very cute. Yes. Okay. Next up is one of my favorites of hers. This, this sampler. This, this is one of the best samplers ever in the world. Love it. I love it. And I started it on Christmas Eve day 2014. I'm pretty sure that was the year it came out. And it just worked. The fabric... Um, I don't remember what I used. I did not use the called for and I did use the called for threads and I just love it. Love, love, love it. And get it. I I'm all discombobulated here. Here we go. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah. I just love this frame. I love the colors. Um, that fillet. I love using those in the frames. Just beautiful. It just, it's one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites by her. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Just, it's like a perfect sampler. Yes, and it's a good size. It's not overly. Yeah, it's not crazy. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. What's up? Uh, luckily, we'll, we'll have a sample to show this because Brenda stitched this. I don't know why I haven't stitched this yet, but I love it yeah. intensely. Yeah. Let's see I your finish. Wow. I love this frame. This yeah. was the first piece I got had framed from Total Framing. And, oh, I love this frame. It's gorgeous. And I think I stitched it on the call for, does it call for picture this plus? I don't know. I'll look. Um, I know I used the call for colors very subtle soft yes yeah, sand by picture this plus yeah. 40 count sand yep yeah. yeah. I love really it and cool. when I was stitching it I thought oh I don't know if this is going to come together because it's a very soft palette mm. yeah yeah you need to do that yeah I do definitely it's okay. next in your pile it is this one uh Oh, that that's. One. Did you stitch this? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is it? Manor at Peacock Hill. I mean, that's cool. Love that bird. Love it. And it called for Valdani threads. And I think I changed them. I don't think I used them, Ooh, but I that's can't gorgeous. tell you. I did this a while ago. And I uh, love it. Love the big wide frame. Sorry for the glare. Just love it. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous. And again, if you can't find the Valdani, because they're hard to find sometimes, um, ask your needle workshop, wherever you order from, if they can substitute an over dyed or a recommended DMC. Because don't not do a design because you can't get the Valdani. Right. So, right. there's lots of other threads out there that you can substitute for. So, Look at Sweet. that. Yeah. Now this that oh, this I should start on April 1st. Yeah. Do the other one March 1st. Right. Yeah, that's cute. Look how sweet. Yeah. With that little pom-pom trim. Look at her hat. Yeah. yeah. Oh. With the tulips. Mm-hmm. Love, love them. Cute. Love, love, love them. Is this what you're showing next? Yes. This is on my immediate, immediate radar. radar. Mm-hmm. This one mm. I did... Uh, I think I finished it this year. This is Brick House Sampler. Um, I think she tells you that, yeah, she's over one on 28 count. I didn't do that. I did over two on 46 count. Oh. And 
taking it up a notch. Here is my finish. Oh my goodness, this is a masterpiece. And the this one hangs above my that schoolhouse series that I showed last video with a um, because I think the colors are very similar and the alphabet is very similar to the little pin cushions. Oosh. Yeah. And again, total framing did the framing on this perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And who doesn't love a red house? I mean, come on. I also love these sheep that are like in this little box. Yeah, love yeah. that. I like the birds. Just Her And then this whole thing side. down here. Yeah. And those trees, I like them. Yeah. The whole thing, I don't know what, I, oh, gee. Get on it. I'm getting on it. Stat. Stat, 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 stat. Stat. This one you can't, well yeah, you can see it better with some light oh, on it. Cute. Crumpets and tea. It's just oh, so yeah. cute. I love it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Just darling. And I also love anything that has a chair in it. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see the chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like her big blue self. Yes. <laughs> Very yeah. cute. Very cute. Last big framed one. This was inspired by Carol at Saltbox Stitcher. I've had this kitted for a long time, never did it. When Carol showed it, I'm like, yep, this was my January 1st start, and I love it. It does not show the colors mm -hmm. the way they came out. Luckily, just... we can show you the colors the way they came out. And, wow, there it is. I love the frame, the colors, the border. And all those words, it went really fast, to be quite honest. It didn't, a couple months. There's and for me, that's that's pretty good. No over one? No, mm -hmm. no over one. All the words are over two. Yeah. I started this. I need to pull it back yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I got very far. Yep. I love the colors. Love, love, love the colors. This one I saw done recently. Oh, that's another one. I know so sweet yeah. and then there's another part of it can you hold this oh, yeah. one yeah. um let's see if there's a picture yeah 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 actually what i'm I oh. think even first i'm going to start that oh yeah it's in the little needle book it's where does it open up like yeah that? i believe oh, it okay. does i mean look at yeah, that that's darling mm -hmm. i look think i'm going to take this with to the attic and get the threads oh that's a good idea those look like little strawberries huh yeah yeah that's you need that. Highly yeah. cute. Yeah. Very, very cute. Mm -hmm. Next is some, this one. Um, love it. Yes. Perfection. Love, love, love it. Love this series. Um, I did change the colors, I think, because Pat Ryan did it and she changed hers, so I did it. So here's the box that Joy wow. finished. And the inside. She put some little buttons in there. And then this is the way she wow. finished the top. Look at that and ribbon on the side. That's genius. Just beautiful. Wow. So when I have it displayed, I put it so you can see. I don't want to close it. Mm -hmm. I want to see this. Yeah. And then the little pin cushion. She attached the little heart there with the little. That's I mean, pretty. it's the little touches. And then use the same lining Chicken. fabric mm -hmm. on the back. I just love that. That's and it's really brown. wow. That's amazing and gorgeous yeah. in every way. So just wow. love these little boxes. Brenda did a Is a that great on forty? Series. Yeah. I think I need to do Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Joy's finishing is incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible, incredible. Uh, last year when I went to Bainbridge Island for Thanksgiving, I decided that I needed a present to greet me when I <laughs> arrived. So I ordered something to be sent to my dad's house. You're funny. I know. I'm, And it was this, which I still haven't stitched it, which is just ridiculous. I love I this. I love that. I so love I it. got it with all the called for. It was oh, Legacy, Picture This Plus Legacy, which... I like it. You do? I, I'm not I sure like I that. do. Yeah. And then all the threads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So you, you have a better way of showing no, this No, 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 no. I was just going to show, help you. Okay. Out. There we go. I'll hold it there, but you pull it through. Yeah. There we go. So. You need to put it on a ring. Yeah, I do. I yeah. mean, all the laws that yes. are being broken right yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. Whoopie doo Exactly. Yeah. Last one um, for today is this ornament. I love it. It's beautiful. Love, love, love it. It's on this dark brown Ooh, that's color. Called for, I don't remember what it was. I finished this several years ago, whenever that's it came gorgeous. out. I just love it. I love it because it's on that dark fabric and the white just pops. I just think it hangs on my Christmas tree every year. Oh. So. You're not done, though, because I see something else I want you to talk about. But before you do, I'm going to show yeah. you my last one, which was inspired oh, yes. by Heidi Cran last year. Yeah. Oh, do you have that one? I have staff? that one, so that's perfect. Okay. I, I love, love this. It. Yeah. Oh, and I started it. Done. Yeah, I started it with DMC on 32 count oh, Laura, pecan butter. Yeah. So I guess I, I have to keep that. going with the 32 on this. Or what you could do. Turn that into a little small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could totally make a little needle book out of it. Oh, needle book. Square needle book. Just like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Then. And then you are, then you're free to stitch it over again. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. And a little Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch yeah. thing got me. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. This is like. Okay. I did. I had that one pulled out too. Oh, so. that's cool. Yeah. Uh, what I want uh, this one, somebody just recently started stitching. I saw it yeah. on Instagram, and I had never really considered it before, but I really like yeah. that. I think this. I think this might be the antique, a picture of the antique, mm. and not the mm -hmm. sampler. I like right. it. What else you got there? Let's just entertain ourselves. Okay. Oh, and that's pretty. One. I like that. I don't know if I would. I have. I like it in that the tray, yeah. Yeah, well, because it's blue, so. Yeah. But, yeah, like any way you finish it would be good. Mm-hmm. Love that. This, because I think it would make a good companion to that brick house sampler. It would. I just like that. Yeah. This one, I've seen. Oh, they I love did a stitch one. along. Several people did a stitch along this it. past year, and I love it. I just need a different fabric. Um, it's I like it on the dark fabric. I think cedar plank, but I mm -hmm. have to pull the colors mm -hmm. in that. I just let me know it. what you decide. Yeah. Oh, this is and sweet. Then here's another little one. This is done on a lone elm box, but I love that. Well, I like the box. I mean, look at she's got it with all that stuff in there. I mean, that's too cute. Too cute. Here, so. uh, here's a couple more that I brought. Oh, yeah. This. Did You did this, didn't you? Mm -mm. No? No. No, oh, I haven't. I have a called kid, Needle yeah. Worker's Sampler. Mm -hmm. So sweet. I like that. And this, I saw at uh, Country Sampler. Oh, yeah. That's another and one. And I love this. Yes. And I... I really just want to do these two right now and make a Christmas ornament oh, out of them. Oh, those would be darling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The little, those are totally your people. Yeah, I like those people. Yeah. And um, I had got uh, an order from 1884 Stitchery McKenna, um, and I ordered. I like this one a lot. A sampler by Bendy Stitchy and a sampler by McKenna. They each reproduced a sampler recently. Good for them. I know. Isn't that Yay, great? Girls. Isn't yeah, that great? Yeah, yeah. And Bendy Stitchy showed this on one of her videos Michelle did and it's just beautiful it's very unique and just gorgeous Love it. and then McKenna reproduced this memorial sampler and I, it's very touching it just touched my heart and in one of her latest videos she has the original behind her shoulder and it's beautiful oh wow yeah so very nice. I wanted to make sure that everybody knew about these younger designers mm -hmm. and, and they're reproducing things. Yeah, I didn't know about either one, so I'm glad you said something. Yeah. So good to have new mm -hmm. um, boy or new faces on right. 
they're gorgeous. Different choices, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Oh, I keep forgetting what to say about this. Yes. And Halloween's almost here. Yes, um, I love it. This is by Not Forgotten Farm. Her name is Matilda Hornbuckle. She was in a Halloween, Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine. I forgot the year. I'm so sorry. I think it might have been 2013. But um, Lori Brecklin from Not Forgotten Farm said she's going to release this at some point. So just check with her. And I had oh, it finished into it. a flat fold. But, oh, it's so yeah. cute. Darling. I like yeah. the way they um, did it with the little the ties. ties. Yeah. 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 Just darling. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Okay. We're a little, I was a little discombobulated at first with our technical difficulties. Oh, yeah. So we'll see if yeah. we can get that. Yeah, this will either be part one or part two, or if you come upon a genius moment, it will all be together. We'll see. Either we'll way, see. hopefully we'll you'll see. see the whole thing because yes. the With Thy Needle and Thread parade was fun. And we'll talk about, you know, who we're going to do next. Yeah. And yeah. it'll be fun. This was fun. Mm -hmm. This was a lot of fun to see mm -hmm. different things that we chose, except for one. We all chose different yeah, that's things. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 So until next time, mm -hmm. have a good couple weeks. And, we'll and see thank you, soon. you so much for all your comments and for watching. So thank you. Bye. Bye.